What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for amazon.com with the ticker symbol AMZN. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So we're going to do a market structure update for Amazon. It looks like since last week price has just been uh, practically going sideways. And I'll show you guys um, more right now. So it looks like if I connect the swings, we're finding resistance at near the top side of this channel. So this is reversal territory or at least correction territory. Also, price already made two legs up. This is one leg up right here. I'm going to clone this. This is two legs up. The target was at the 120 level. We did exceed it, but we're not really seeing um, any strength. You can see the price is starting to uh, curl over. It's starting to get weaker. You can see the price was in this uptrend channel right here. It broke it, and now it's just you know barely making higher highs. Let me go and zoom in. So it's barely making higher highs and it's starting to kind of, you know, get more flatter instead of trending up. So now, most recently, we're just in this sideways trading range at the high of the uptrend. So it looks like we're in a tight little range right here. And you can see that we could, could, we could continue to correct in this manner. Correction doesn't mean necessarily we're going to pull back, uh, like, you know, towards the, uh, this channel or the support side of the channel, we could just continue to trade sideways uh, maybe into this one right here because this channel looks to be uh, also something uh, that could come into play, this green one. So we have a micro orange channel that's up, that's already had a break and a move, out, move outside, a push to a new high. We have this blue little range in play, uh, but the bigger picture is probably the yellow and the green uh, channels working higher. So we'll see how it, uh, comes into play in the future. So that's all I have for the daily chart, except one more thing, is that price most likely wants to come to test this level right here, a market with a horizontal line, this 137 level. And why does it want to come test this level? Because it looks like it was tested numerous times in the past. It was support here, support here, price bounced here, but before it gapped down, came back up, tried to get back above it, failed, started finding resistance here, here, so this level looks like it's been tested numerous times and we're coming back up to it. So it definitely will act like a magnet or a target for a price. So maybe we go sideways and then we see a breakout towards the upside and then we see maybe the big correction down. So that could also play out. But either way, you know, we're at the top of the up move. So there's not a lot of uh, potential left as of right now until we see a pullback in the stock. So that's all I have on the daily chart. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for Amazon and price did bottom off the 2020 lows. I'll mark that with a horizontal line. So we could be coming back up to the all time highs because this is starting to look like a ranging pattern. Uh, price did have a previous downtrend off the all time highs right over here. It broke the downtrend and then we saw two pushes in that direction, which is pretty common. So one push, two push, almost a perfect measure move. And then when price reached it, that's when we saw the biggest reversal um, in this entire uh, downtrend is when price reached the measuring target and we bounced off the 2020 lows. So those are two strong levels. And now price could be in a wider downtrend channel. So uh, as time goes on, price, ac price action gets larger. So previously it was inside of this small little orange downtrend channel. Now this bigger yellow downtrend channel could come, in, come, could come into play. So here's, the, here's what can happen. If, if this support level at the 81 is strong, that means price uh, will probably continue trending higher. But I still want to see two attempts down uh, that fails. So I'm going to see one attempt, two attempts, and boom, fails. And um, most of the time, you know, staying above the EMA. So we could do it right here, or we could do it a little bit higher. Um, either way, I want to see two attempts down for this downtrend. Because after a, a downtrend channel break, you expect two attempts in that direction to retest the prior low. So those two attempts down could fail and we can see higher prices. However, if we see, you know, like a sharp move down and then we see two attempts up, then that could fail and we can, then we can see that move down. So it just depends on what price wants to do. Uh, you could probably play this both ways depending on uh, the type of situation that happens. So if we stay above the EMA and we see two moves down, there's a good chance we'll probably see, you know, continuation to the upside. If we see a sharp move down and then two moves up that are kind of like weak and we're staying below the EMA, just pretend, you know, that this is the EMA and we're curling over, then there's a good chance, you know, we could see, you know, that rejection from it and, you know, 
another leg down towards the low 80s. So it depends on what the market wants to do as of right now. But I would still expect you know a, a move down uh, fairly shortly. So that's all I have for the Am Amazon on the daily and weekly charts. And I'll probably give you guys an update next week, Saturday. This is VTrades, and thank you for your time. The VTrades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now.